Hey, what is up guys, it's Adal here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do 3D tracking slash keyframing in iMovie. So this also works in Final Cut Pro 10 or 10.3.3, the new one. But anyways, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you guys want to do is you just want to open iMovie, and you want to click Create New Movie. So I'm just going to open Movie, so it does not want to be a trailer. And then what you're going to do is you are going to get, uh, you're going to import some footage over here. So let me just import some footage into this iMovie movie. This is footage called tracking. So you can use it with anything. It doesn't have to be a person's face. As you guys can see, this is my footage right here. And I'm just going to be moving it, moving myself. And up and down, I'm going to be showing you how to track that with text. So let's get straight into it. So after you open this and import your footage, the first thing that you guys want to do from there is open Keynote. And you want to type in what you want to type. So let's just say a. So we can just do that. And then you can delete that. Bold. And then what you want to do from there, Command Shift 4 will get you a screenshot. So once again, Command Shift 4. And you want to select your area of text and let go. Once you're done with that, you want to go back to your desktop where your screenshot is saved. So I'm going to go here, double click on it, so let that open up. And then you want to click this toolbox right here. And then from there, you want to click this magic wand. And then you just want to go around and click delete. From there, you inside this, you just want to go and make everything perfect. So it is pretty much see-through when you're done. And then you're just going to click this button right here, save, and you're done from there. So then you can X out of Keynote. You don't have to save this, so I'm just going to click delete. Over here, we have our iMovie project. We are also going to import this footage, as you guys can see, inside iMovie. Once we're there, we want to put this into our timeline. So let me just get this straight. So we want to put this in our timeline. Then we're going to put this here. Then we're going to change that. So if you're not on this tab, make sure you're on this tab. Picture and picture. We're just going to put this over where first, well, first we want to change this into however long our thing is. Turn dissolve into zero over here on this and over here. Then you want to make it as big as you want it. So let's say this big is fine. Okay. So from there, over here. So this, so you want to start off over here. So I'm just going to change this text. So where it starts is where you want to start it. So right there. And then from here, what you guys want to do, you want to click on this, click on there, actually this one. And then you want to click this little object right here. Add new creep. So there, and then we're just going to move a little bit ahead until where I move. So as you guys can see, I move a little bit over there. Move my thing over there. Then I want to move this up a little. And then you're just going to go through your timeline like that. You might want to open this and make this one more wide so it can become cleaner. But I'm just going to do this slowly so I can get this better as a representation in this video. So let me just finish this. You can move it down and up too. Okay, so now that we're done, the first thing that we want to do is we just want to see how it turned out. So we're going to hit the space bar, or you can hit this play button. And as you guys can see, it is moving with my head, which is actually pretty cool. And it'll follow my head. You can also do this with objects if you want. So, yeah. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.